You are FBI? Yeah, this is the FBI. The amount will be $50 million. $50 million? And who do you think you kidnapped, Chelsea Clinton? Good evening, Gotham City. This is Rick Malone with Channel 7 News, bringing you a major update. In a dramatic turn of events, the elusive villain known only as the Diddler has been captured by the Dark Knight himself, the Batman. The Diddler, notorious for his nefarious freak-offs, was apprehended late last night in the heart of Gotham's downtown. Dropped his dumb ass off right on the front doorstep of the FBI. The Diddler's reign of terror has come to an end. Stay tuned for more updates as we learn more about this thrilling capture. For now, Gotham can rest a little easier knowing that the Diddler is behind bars. Thanks to the vigilant efforts of our community. Damn. The Diddler has been captured, y'all. The Diddler has been captured. My man been running around here terrorizing Gotham for far too long. And they got his ass. So far, at least. Man. I got to talk about it. I got to talk about it. I covered um, the whole Cassie situation on this channel. Right. Um sharing my thoughts on that and kind of breaking down that situation and, 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 you know, diving into really what that meant for him and what it should have meant for him. Um, but now here we are. Right. And I said, even in my last reaction on that, because people were wondering how that tape of him and Cassie in the hotel got out. You know, or like, why did the hotel hold on to it for so long? Or how come nobody released it? And I, and I had a theory way back then that I shared on the channel, which was in Cassie's statement, she said that Diddy obtained that video. that He paid off somebody, hotel or otherwise, to, to get the video. And he kept it and he got it. That's what she said. And there was no way to really prove that. Then his house was raided. His house was raided by the feds. Okay, not no raccoons. Uh, the feds. Then, shortly after that raid, now this unseen tape that no one else had possession of finally sees the light and was obtained by a specific news network. Like it was sent to them. You know what I'm saying? Didn't just like leak online. So. I'm assuming that she was right. Did he did get it. Kept it in his possession. In this house with everything else they've been finding. And uh, obtained that tape. And then leaked it or released it. Whichever word you want to go with. Uh, and then the thing came out. Now. Here we are again. More raids and more information and more seizing of items. They've been working on this for a long time, okay? The feds don't just show up to your house trick-or-treating, okay? If they there, they got some shit. You see, you know what I'm saying? And they there. They there. They everywhere right now. Um, And uh, he was, I think his attorney, um was looking for a $50 million bail. All right? This is generous. And that bail was denied by the judge because of the witness intimidation and just even the overall contact of witnesses, things that he know he ain't supposed to be doing. I think he was calling people like over 50 times reaching out to certain people that he's supposed to have no contact with that are witnesses in, in this, in this case and, and stuff and this investigation. So yeah, he's, he's doing all the wrong things right now and trying to cover up some things uh, and, and getting caught up every step of the way. Right. Um, so I got to talk about it and, I, 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 I've, I've heard other people's comments online and stuff, not to me, but to other people, like, why are you talking about this? You didn't talk about so-and-so and who did it? Listen, 
I'm I'm one. I gotta talk about the Diddy stuff because one, I'm disgusted as somebody that I've you know listened to. He's, he's he his impact on the game can't be denied. All the groups and the 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 accolades and the songs. Listen, this is the space that I live in. I'm a signed artist to the highest, biggest selling rap group of all time, Bone Thugs and Harmony. Bone worked with Diddy. Bone worked with Biggie Small. Okay, they got studio sessions together, right? This is a space I live in. I know this space, right? Some of that other stuff is so far removed from anything that I do. This hits harder because this is my space. I've I've been, you know, jamming out to, to Diddy produced songs and tracks and stuff plenty of times, right? So the disappointment in this man's history has got to be talked about. It's as simple as that, okay? So <clears throat> we're going to break down some of the details um, of why Diddy was even arrested in the first place and why he's being indicted. There's a 14-page indictment, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to go through every little line, but we're going to cover some stuff so people understand exactly what they got my man on, okay? Um, cause it, this ain't no small stuff. This is, this is, this is crazy. Okay. So he will be remaining in, uh, custody until his trial due to the, the bail denial, um, uh, which the judge explained why that bail was denied. Um, and rightfully so he already been out chilling this whole time and, and been on video. My man's been on the beach, dapping up his friends. He's been at parties. All this stuff, man. And this is post Cassie video. He's doing all this. My man still ain't learned. He ain't lay low or nothing. His ass should have never left the house. Now, here we go. The grand jury charges, bro. They start off for... Decades. That's the thing. Diddy's been around for a long time. These accusations are not new. He's had accusations since the 90s. The 90s. Murder, drugs, and everything else since the 90s. If it was talk in the 90s, what do you think it's like now in 2024? My man got power. For decades, the defendant. Sean Combs, a.k.a. Puffy, P. Diddy, Diddy, PDA, Love, whatever name he want to go by, abused, threatened, and coerced women and others, because there are men, they don't really mention them, but there have been plenty of men that have come out over the years saying that they've been forced to do things around him to fulfill his sexual desires, protect his reputation, and conceal his conduct. To do so, Combs relied on the employees' resources and influence on the multifaceted business empire that he led and controlled, creating a criminal enterprise whose members and associates engaged in and attempted to engage in, among other crimes, sex trafficking, forced labor, kidnapping, arson, bribery, and obstruction of justice. That's, that's a lot. That's a lot. At all times relevant to this indictment, the defendant engaged in a persistent and pervasive pattern of abuse toward women and other individuals. He's, he's on racketeering. That's one of the, the, the counts is racketeering. A lot of people don't know what racketeering is, but like, you're going to have to establish recurrency and a, and, a, and a pattern if you're going for a racketeering kind of kind of count or charge. So them covering patterns in this indictment is kind of doubling down and trying to solidify the fact that that racketeering charge is definitely prominent and, and needs to be there. Right. So the abuse was at times verbal, emotional, physical and sexual. And as part of his pattern of abuse, they use the word again, 
Combs manipulated women to participate in highly orchestrated performances of sexual activity with male commercial sex workers. Now, this is something that was in Cassie's uh, court claims, too. She, this was written all in her stuff, too. Not too many people, like, really dug that out of there. But she said, she's one of many who have said, she said that she was forced to do things in a room with another man that she did not know while Diddy watched. This is Cassie saying this stuff. And then you have all of these other people who account their own situation. And it's almost mirror for mirror image of what Cassie described. So he's done it multiple, multiple times over decades. And like I said, it probably got worse and worse and worse as he got more power and more money. Right. Things get swept under the rug a lot more easier, the more powerful and the more influential you get. Um, at times, Combs and others acting at his direction made arrangements for women and commercial sex workers to fly to his location. Obtaining and distributing narcotics to them, controlling their careers, leveraging his financial support and threatening to cut off the same by using intimidation and violence. So this is where a lot of those other stuff comes in. Sex trafficking by force, coercion, transportation to engage in prostitution, right? These are all the, 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 the counts and the charges. Physical abuse by Combs was recurrent, again, pattern, and widely known on numerous occasions. Combs assaulted women by striking, punching, dragging, throwing objects at, and kicking them. That happened all in one video that we saw. The cast, that happened in one video. So multiply that by every encounter or circumstance over the last 30 plus years. We, we got to see that in one damn video. Good luck. These assaults were at times witnessed by others. Um, and then, of course, they talk about the 2016 hotel uh, thing that was later publicly reported, which was, was Cassie. The defendant was the leader of the Combs Enterprise. Pretty much everybody that worked for him was instructed by him in some way. And we've even seen people come out publicly, um, even recently saying, you know, like security guards and things like that, saying they saw this, didn't quite see that, and because they didn't want to see it, but they can hear it or they knew, and, and their job was to technically protect, protect. He did whatever they told him to do, you know what I'm saying, or he told them to do. They did whatever. Um, now, you stick around for years and years and years to allow that, that makes you an accomplice, right? Or is it the flip side where it's like, this dude's powerful. I can't just say no to his face. He out here blowing up Kid Cuddy's car just for getting a little too close to his girl. Like, he's that type of dude. So do you just say, no, Diddy, I'm not doing that. And then going about your business? Probably not. Right. Because now, you know, things that you're not supposed to know. You feel me? So it, it might have been a tricky slope for some people. But still, either way, you know, if you out there helping them carry this out, you know, it, it, you almost just as guilty um, because once they start dropping names and there will be some names drop. Those people that get their names dropped, that's not like a witness or something. They're going to be in trouble. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be in trouble. And there's a lot of other names that have been brought out over the years in the music industry, especially and the film industry of other people doing this same type of stuff, just not to the level of Diddy because he got more money, but they've been doing it. And there have been artists that have come out and spoken out against it and called those people out. And nobody believed those artists. 
They silenced those artists. The videos were deleted off the internet and all these type of things. We're going to see exactly who gets who gets mentioned up in here. So that's pretty much what he's being charged for indictment-wise. We already know, based on the raids and how long they've been working on this, they've been finding stuff, right? The most recent kind of talk about more in the raids, obviously the drugs. In fact, when they arrested him, I think they found <laughs> narcotics in the hotel that he was being arrested at, you know, um, right before he was arrested. They found a lot of narcotics in the house, obviously weapons, things of that nature. But they also found uh, evidence of his quote unquote freak offs as as people call them. His freak offs. That's where the freaky deaky happened. In like a party atmosphere. You know what I'm saying? Now listen, I ain't judging. There's a lot of freaky deeks. A lot of freaky deeks. You, you, you be freaky deaky, it's not illegal. But when you forcing people to be freaky deaky, <laughs> now you now you messing up. Right? And then apparently his stuff is just not, it ain't no like regular like it's off the chain, like crazy, crazy stuff. They seized a thousand bottles of baby oil and lube, a thousand bottles in his house, a thousand bottles. You can't even go to the store and get a thousand bottles. I don't even think Amazon will send you a thousand bottles. But Diddy got it just on the shelf chilling. A thousand bottles of baby oil. That's all the evidence you need for real, for real. That's crazy. Nobody in the world needs that much baby oil. I'm going to tell you right now. You slip on that, you are, you are not stopping. You are slide right to the goddamn moon. A thousand bottles of baby oil. Good Lord. And lube. So my man, he gets it in. But see, ain't nobody supposed to know that, bro. You freaky deek, be freaky deek. But ain't nobody supposed to know that. But everybody knows it. Everybody who been been to your crazy parties, every victim that you didn't had, everybody that you didn't force to do something, hide something, cover up something, hurt somebody, do this, do that, threatened, all this stuff. That's crazy. Money. They can move and shake, man, make things happen. You got certain people in your pocket. You know what I mean? And Diddy became one of those type of people. He's a, a mogul with all of this money and power and influence, man. And it's hard to go against guys like that. It takes this amount of time and years because you need a insurmountable like slew of evidence and a track record of, of people willing to say the same things, people who don't even know each other, all describing the same thing. It's suspicious. But even then, you still can't prove it, right? But you gather this, gather that, and then you have victims that are being identified, and you just got more and more and more and more. And then you're surveilled, right? And then things are being watched over a long period of time. And then... They got everything they need to raid your damn house when you least expect it. You ain't got time to hide shit or nothing. That's why you got the Cassie videotape chilling on your, on your desk. It's too late. They own the house now, and they going through everything, everything. And they finding stuff, man. And now that's why they can bring federal charges. Now, this ain't no local and state, yo. This ain't local and state. This federal. So even the bond, right? You know how you got to pay 10% of the bond to get out? Not at the federal level. They want all $50 million. And they still said no <laughs> to the bail. Good. Woo. Like, your boy might be done for here. Now, Diddy is being held in uh, the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn. That's the MDC. Now, other high-profile people have been held there, like R. Kelly. We know what happened to him. 
We know what he did. Uh, Ghislaine Maxwell. We know what happened to her. We know what she did with the whole Epstein shit. Right? Now, did he there? These, all these people were held there. And that's, and that's like where people who require like a little bit more protection and stuff like that, a little high profile people, that's where they, that's where they go. It didn't work out for them. It's not looking good for Diddy. It's not looking good. I can't remember the uh, the minimum and maximum sentences for each of those things, racketeering, conspiracy, all that type of stuff. But one of them is life in prison. And then some of the other ones, the minimum is like 15 years. Minimum if you get convicted on, on one. Minimum 15. And there was a couple other minimums, but one of them joints was life in prison if you get convicted. I'm pretty sure that was probably the racketeering. I'm not sure. Don't quote me. But it's something like that. So he's facing some heavy time here. Your boy is finished. It, it, I, he need a genie to get out of this. For real. And even then, I'm pretty sure they'd be like, nah, G. Yeah, I can't get you on this one. You know what I'm saying? So, but listen, I believe every victim that has come out and said what they said because they're all saying the same thing and they all got details where they can do pages and pages and pages and pages, right? And nobody was really believing people when they were saying these things. And then you couldn't really prove it and it would just disappear. Right. That Cassie video changed a lot of things, man, because you got to see it go down of how he can just do that to somebody. It, it changed everything now. And then you go read through Cassie's statement. She described that moment from 2016 with such detail. It was basically a play by play. She remembered everything. So her credibility went like this. Right. And his obviously tanked because literally like a week before that, he said he ain't do none of that. Right. So. I'm thinking your boy is done. And uh, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Listen, like I said, you can't you can't take away his impact in the game and the hits and the massive you know talent that he's discovered and all this type of shit, whatever. But. At the end of the day, none of that matters anymore. This is what you're going to be known for. This is what you're going to be known for. You spent all them years building that type of legacy just for just for this to be your 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 final. Right. This is your magnum opus right here. This is it. This right here. It's sad, man. But I love when the big top dogs that think they're untouchable think that they can do anything that they want to anybody that they want to gets caught up. I, I love to see it. I love to see it. They are so untouchable that they prey on everybody that they want. They just control the world. They just got this domination. Like, it's crazy. Until one day, it all comes crashing down. And it comes crashing down fast. And you didn't did 30 plus years worth of shit. So even if you knew it was coming, you still couldn't clean all that up. You would need another 30 years to clean it all up. So it's like too late. Whatever's there, they're going to find. Right? We can go all the way back to the accusations about Tupac's murder. Your name been in the middle of shit your whole damn life, bro. But now people are providing proof. People are finding things and covering things. People are, 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 are uh, testifying against you, putting out their part. So it's a wrap, man. The Batman has caught the diddler in Gotham. And I'm here for it. I'm here for it. If this turns out to be because he pleaded not guilty, they raiding his house. Thousand bottles of baby oil, my man said, not guilty. So it's going to trial. 
It's going to go to trial. It's going to be tough, man. But who knows what happens, right? You got technicalities and all this type of stuff. Uh, uh, a certain evidence withheld and you don't find out till later and then the whole case dismissed. All, anything could happen. Anything could happen. So you, you really never know. But if he gets a, 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 just a conviction on even one of these things that they talking about, it's a wrap for your man. It's a wrap. All right, y'all. That's it. That's kind of my whole take on the Diddy situation. And as other crazy stuff happens or come up, man, maybe we'll talk about it. But y'all leave me some comments. Let me know what y'all thought about this. I know a lot of people out there feel differently. And there are a lot of people who actually defend Diddy. They defend him. And all these people that's been caught on video in recent days hanging out with him and dapping him up and all this type of stuff like he's not this dude is kind of wild to me. That's crazy. I'm going to need this to, to be seen through first. I'm not dapping you up. We're not hanging out. Not with this stuff. Hell to, nah, 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 nah. So there's a lot of people that, that come to his defense, man. So you never know, like I said. All right, y'all. That was it. Uh, if you tuned in the whole time, I appreciate you. Um, and uh, I'll see y'all next time. Have Ignatian. Be easy.